Yo, my why, why am I wearing this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know. Oh, you know why? Oh, okay, okay. They're not. They're not 3D. They're not 3D. They're not 3D. Are you they're sure they're not? They're not? They're not? I mean, now you know people have the 3D. I mean, at, well, I mean, everything is in 3D. That counts. But I think that's. That's, that's, the alcohol. For that's the alcohol. Maybe. That's the alcohol. Okay, yeah. it could be. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Live from Gallifrey. You'll happen to notice that, well, L has now, of course, regenerated into Josh. And uh, we're going to have to deal with that. Um, it's not one of the best regenerations. But I mean, hey, hey you know, regeneration is a crapshoot, you know? That's fine, but as the doctor, I'm going to fix something. So keep talking. I'll okay. Be right back. All right. All right. He's gonna fix something. This is gonna be interesting. We'll find out exactly what's gonna happen. But today on this episode, we're gonna talk about the army of ghosts. Now we're glad that we're getting to this episode because we just dealt with two crap episodes. So finally getting to this episode makes it all the worthwhile because this is a two-parter to kind of clean our palate from the two bad episodes we did have. Oops. Am I, what? All right. No. Yep. It's fixed. Okay. Fixed, good. Fixed, good. It's fixed, oh. It's oh. It's not. Okay, it's not 3D anymore. Okay, good job, good job. <laughs> Hello, shout out to you, Tom Craven. Thanks for uh, joining us. Um, now, so, once again, Army of Ghosts. What did you know or what did you remember about this episode before having to do a rewatch? Uh, before I, I remember that it was the end of the season. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that this was the basically the, the end of uh, Rose Tyler for uh -huh. being a companion. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. That's true. Okay, and, I, and, I and, you, and you, you know the, the Cyberman, and the Daleks, and and getting Mickey back, and all, all that kind of stuff. All the greatness, yeah, all the yeah. things that people um, talk about for years. Was, years to come. was there anything that you saw watching this episode this time that you didn't remember that where you were watching? You were like, oh, I remember that now. Um, no, because like the Martha Jones thing, I remember. See, I uh, didn't. See, I thought she was someone else. Oh, like I knew, I, the, you know the I, actress. Of I, course. I, I I knew I knew that she had been in the show previously, mm -hmm. but I thought she was um, for some reason in the first season mm -hmm. when they the the end of the, the end of the world. Uh -huh. Like I thought she was the 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 tree woman. Oh, a lot of people do. They always like, I don't know, thing, but it's like, yeah, no. Yeah, I don't, I, think, I don't know why I thought I think, that was her. A funny thing is, I think a lot of people know. No. I don't think it's racism. I think a lot of people actually think the same thing, because I think they've all been told that. And I'm Maybe. like, no, I, don't, I keep trying to figure out who is the person giving out that info, saying, oh, you know, that's also her. You're like, that's not her. That's yeah, uh, no. the, really the, uh, yeah, the it's, Slovene it's, lady or yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Yeah, definitively someone else. Yes, it definitely is. It's the lady who later comes in as a lizard woman and blah, blah, blah. That's who it is. Hey, she? did you guys know yeah. that in this episode that Martha Jones is actually the tree woman did you believe that <laughs> yeah 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 that's exactly yes. what we are talking against right there that's it that's the person that's the person who's giving everyone this wait, false wait, info wait, wait, wait. traveling you're, the world you're, you're telling me <laughs> that Joe spreads false information about things I, well I don't there, there are people I don't that say that it. happens I there don't are people believe that say, it there are people that say it does have you oh, been God. at that hashtag show.com <laughs> <laughs> Where we put out a, a story about the WWE. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, what? What? Oh my God! He's like the elephant on um, uh, uh, the Good Place. Did you see oh, yeah. the white right elephant? That, that, only, like, that only JF, the truth. Yeah, JFK he was killed by the, the, the truth of the uh, universe. Shirley Temple killed JFK. He was like, what? Oh my God! No, get it out of here. That's literally what. Man, Joey. I'm. <laughs> I'm so sad that this is the last season of The Good Place. Oh, but I'm so happy for it because yeah, they're really pulling all the stops in there. I'm, right I'm happy that they're ending on their terms yes. and that they get to tell the story that they want to tell. Exactly. Like, complete tell the story that they want to tell. It's oh. not like they were like, okay, this is your last season, finish it up. Finish they it were up, like, yeah. nope, this is it. This is all we're doing. Well, I hope one day that's what they figure out for Doctor Who if they're going to do how it do so this way they can tell a good story. How do you think they're going to end Doctor Who? Do you think Dude, he's just right going to die? Now, he's going to be like, oh, I'm out of generations. Oh, no, I think it will be some time loop thing and then it's like it all starts over again and that's and just like completely it. reboot yeah it's like he gets all the way up to this point and then it's like well what happens now blah blah and he's like well he's a true time lord or lord of time lord so he's got, he's so got, now he's got he pull like become, a neo yeah he's gonna be like, and he comes like, into like, like the of, time continuance yeah, yeah. and he becomes the like the uh untethered schism or whatever yeah, he'll be the new heart of the tardis or something. yeah something I, like that some some weird thing i don't and then know all of a sudden like it starts if, over I, I i think if anything it might just stop so that 10, 15 years from now, they can just start it up start again. Start up again. Yeah, yeah that may be Basically it. just like they did with, with Eccleston. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the, 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 last, the last Doctor Who before Eccleston was the, 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 the backdoor pilot for the American movie, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And before that, I forgot which uh, 
Yeah, Seven's Mafia. I mean, it was, was, was mid eighties. Yeah, I don't remember how it ended though. Like how that stopped before the, the, uh, the, 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 the before the movie, the, the, the McGann movie, or before that? Before that, before that. I, like, I don't remember either. I, I asked people and they're like, I don't remember. But uh, McGann, McGann is what I remember. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, okay, same thing for me. So whatever. Um, but anyway, this episode. Anyway, yeah. This episode starts off, and this is the thing that immediately was like, oh, yeah, I definitely remember this, and now I'm even happier, and I know Elle definitely was, because it was the moment where uh, Rose says, this is my last story, and blah, 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 yeah. blah, this and is, I was like... This is how I died, or something I like just, that. I was yeah. just applauding at home, like, yeah, you do, yeah, you do, good job, can't wait for you to go away. <laughs> Like I could not. I was so happy for it. You, like, you know. You know what? Uh, I, what I did really like about this episode. Though? What? Uh, towards towards the beginning, when uh, they first when when the the TARDIS uh, appears in Torchwood, and, oh. and the Doctor reaches in, uh huh, uh-huh. uh, and to to grab Rose and grabs uh, her mom instead. Oh, <laughs> he's like, here's Rose Tyler. That was so good. I love that because it was like, boom, here. <laughs> what? For for like a split second, I was like. Wait, did he mean to pull her out, or or, 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 or what, this, what, what, what was going on here? Yeah, like, 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 like immediately, I was like, oh no, he's doing this on purpose so that Rose can stay on the TARDIS and try, try to figure, yeah, out, exactly. figure out what's going on. Right, but just for that split moment, I was like. Did he mean to do that? Yeah, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Because Jackie, as we all know, is just like her daughter, useless. So <laughs> there was no reason to bring Jackie on unless she just wanted to be ogled by older men. That's yeah. all it was. One thing that was interesting to me was, did you notice that Jackie's TV also gets like news from India and Japan? Besides, but, just, <laughs> besides I mean, just the British stuff? You've seen Rick and Morty, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, Interdimensional yeah. cable. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a Jackie's house. Once again, <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't like something that uh, uh, the daughter gave her. Rose was like, here's a TV the doctor made special. Wait, wait. No, what was, she has regular British so, cable. So I wasn't, somehow she had I, all I, that. I wasn't paying that close attention to that scene. What uh-huh. was the doctor using to change the channel? Was he using the remote controller? Was he using the... Oh, I uh, thought he was, was using the sonic screwdriver. Because if he was using sonic screwdriver, that's why she was able to get all that extra stuff. Because the uh, sonic screwdriver was pulling it in. That's, okay, all right, fine. Fine, fine. That could be it. Interdimensional Maybe, cable for the win. Yeah. Well, damn it. <laughs> ah, just hated it for a moment. I didn't get it. Uh, but meh, whatever. Uh, I love the fact that we did go way back all the way to Tooth and Claw by oh, yeah. referencing uh, Torchwood. And for this season, mm-hmm. what we chose to do was our little droplets of uh, Torchwood that weren't heavy-handed like we did for uh, before the season before. Right. With uh, just like uh, and what was it? Unless. Battle? Yeah, battle, 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 battle. Oh, my God. You guys are just heavy-handed with it. What, it's what, not too much. What's interesting, too, mm-hmm. coincidence maybe about me being here, unless I'm remembering things incorrectly, okay. is one of the last episodes of this show that I was on with L was okay. Tooth and Claw. Oh, shoot. I don't, I don't think you were here. I was not. Time. I was not. I was not. That's because right. Because I, rem- I remember watching it being like, Oh yeah, this is the one where where Torchwood like this is what made Torchwood. made Torchwood. That's right. I was not here. Probably I couldn't remember if it was you or L that was, no, that was no. here on that one. I just know I wasn't here. So no, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So it definitely had to be L. Wow, full circle. It just kind of comes around. Oh my gosh, this is like wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, <laughs> but all works out well. Like Russell T Davies actually took time to do something. That's a shock. So um, <laughs> what 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 did you mm. think about this episode overall? Like, were, was there anything about this episode where you were like, mm, no, nope, this doesn't work for me? Oh, no, no, I, was, I enjoyed it because the whole thing was, it was like, uh, Daleks, and then soon we'll find out, Cybermen versus, it was like, yes, it was like, right? epic rap battle, it was like, Daleks, I remember, I remember, I remember it was my, like, I saw it coming. I remember when I was watching this the first time, and uh, I, I was, it, it was around the same time that Freddy versus Jason came out, mm, okay. I was like, okay. okay, we've got Cybermen versus Daleks versus the Doctor, why can't we get... Freddy versus Jason versus Ash, because Ooh. that was that was the big thing. Was that after Freddy versus Jason came out, everyone was like, "Oh, now they're working on Freddy versus Jason versus Ash." But I think they got that information from we got this covered. Just okay, saying. makes just sense. Saying. Makes sense. I'm just saying it wasn't true. Never right. happened. Oh damn! That's a mic drop right there. I'm sorry oh. to say that. Oh god! Wow, they had to get it from Discovery. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, <laughs> no, but no, but with that, Ash versus those two, wouldn't Ash ultimately die versus those guys? Uh, no, because he'd probably, Ash, he'd, he'd probably Ash wins be everything. Ash wins everything by accident. Oh, like 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 you know he might get screwed over in the end, uh-huh. but he wins his fights, and other people get screwed over too. 
Sounds a lot like the doctor at moments. Yeah, because I'm, no I joke. mean, in, in Army of Darkness, uh, you know, he, he misspoke the words. Oh, but yeah, that's back, right. And then he came back. And, and, okay. and he ended up saving everyone. Okay. But then he uh, ended up waking up too late. Or no, or no, 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 no. No, in the in the, the original ending, he woke up he, he woke up later than he was supposed to. It was like the Rip and Winkle type thing where he woke up in like in a cave in his car and he comes, comes and down. There's like demons flying and, everywhere. Yeah, right. Uh, in the actual ending from the theatrical cut, Everything worked out fine. He's working again at S Mart, and uh, uh, one of the, the the witch ladies come like like God. like the janitor turned into a witch lady. You guys hear you hear, you hear those ghostly that's, that's, like that's, ghostly that's a, children? That's, that's a witch lady. Ghosts and children laughing and everything. This is so <laughs> weird. This is so weird. I swear, I think the set is haunted. I, I, I don't know. I, I, don't I hear know. like laughing children. It, and might, it like, might be. I might be haunted because I hear that at home all the time too. So then that's what's happening. It's like randomly you're like coming, the conjuring. It, like it sounds conjuring. like it's coming from next door. Uh, it could it's be. It's really weird. It could be coming from next door. Maybe. You have like the conjuring going on, dude. That See? I'm saying, man. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. The unearthly child. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. Doctor Who all over again. So, the first time we get to see him wear the 3D glasses. Now, do you remember any time after these two episodes, this one in Boomtown, I don't, that he wears the 3D glasses? I don't. I don't either, but this is so iconic, and everyone goes insane mm -hmm. over it, mm -hmm. and they're like doing cosplays, and they're like, oh, just put on a suit and throw on 3D glasses, I'm the doctor! And you're like, it was two episodes, man! So Two episodes! But here, this, this, this is my question. Over. Do you think, like, on set, they just have a table of props somewhere? I, and he and, and, and up? Yeah, and they're just like, all right, what weird thing do you want to use this week? It's like the reincarnation of whatever, and they're like, yeah, he picks something. And he's like... Ah, yes. <laughs> and that's exactly it. It's good, okay? And they're like, all right, and the doctor puts on 3D glasses. Oh, go with it. Oh, this is yeah, and, and, and then immediately someone's on the phone be like, I need another 17 pairs of 3D glasses. Exactly, because you know they're going to mm -hmm. rip, they're going to mess up, blah, blah, whatever. So that's really interesting to me. It was just like, all right, we'll go ahead and do this scene, and here goes the 3D glasses, and now it becomes this iconic image. Every time you think about it, you have been like, the doctor, tenant, ten needs to wear 3D glasses at some point. It was just twice. Do you, so do you remember ever seeing someone else wearing 3D glasses on in, on TV on or TV or in a movie? Like that? Maybe that wasn't... there have been probably some 80s or 90s movies the, where somebody wore 3D glasses. Back to the Future. There you go. Uh, I, it was there not, you go. not it wasn't it wasn't the character that Flea played, but it was one of it was one of the, one of one of like Biff's you know gang, right? When I, the ghost child just showed up for a second. <laughs> I was like, I'm not deal. You're gonna be in trouble, ghost child. Wherever you just went, I know it. I heard it. I heard the mm -hmm. ghost child. I knew I heard it. So anyway, you were saying. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, one of Biff's gang, I think. Oh yeah, that yeah. dude. Oh my god, that's right. So that's right. So so okay. connection. That was a time travel movie. This is a time travel TV show. Just I don't right. I don't know if that's where they okay. where the, where okay. they got the 3D glasses okay. from, but right. that's. Okay, that's Maybe. Uh, automatically, congratulations, you won on that. I, I didn't even put that together, but there it is. Uh, there we go. Right there, there it is. And I was wondering even then, why is he wearing so 3D glasses? So, every time I, I watch Back to the Future, I forget that Billy Zane is in it. I do, too. Like, I know, I know he's in it. Uh -huh. And every time I watch it, I'm like, oh yeah, Billy Zane is in this movie. Yeah, like you look, and then it's like immediately right there, you're like, I recognize that face. There's yeah. no way I can't recognize that It's my good friend face. Billy Zane. Yes! Everyone like, says it. It's my good friend yeah. Billy Zane. And there he is. Billy Zane is a nice guy, too. And like in real life, real life. I've never met him. Guy. Oh my God, he's such a nice guy. But yeah, that's Billy Zane, man. Wow. Famous just because he has that name. That's it now. That's it. <laughs> just he doesn't because he's named anything Billy else. Zane. He's Billy Zane, and now he's famous just because of his name. We're like, oh my god, that's Billy Zane. That's it. Just run with it. So, uh, uh, you want to get into some trivia and goofs? Please. All right. And one of them has to do with the Bluetooth. All right. Just please. So let's see here. <laughs> General trivia. Okay. Uh, in the clip parodying the East Enders uh, movie from 1985, the ghost being shouted at oh, stands yeah. directly in front of two bronze objects on the mantle, visible from about ear height. As the ghost keeps shifting from left and right, the distortion around it causes the object to appear as two thin tubes stretching up and joining over the top of its head, which is a very subtle clue as to the ghost's true nature, because you can kind of see it doing the, 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 the Cyberman the thing. thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Ooh, uh, good one. Then uh, there is a reference to the Ghostbusters. Let's go for this. Which, I, I mean, they, they specifically little, say, yeah, who are you going to exactly, call Ghostbusters? Exactly, right. So that, that's, yeah. Uh, let's see, a goof? Okay. You want a goof? Right, let's go with a goof. goof. Uh, when Yvonne Hartman, uh, she's the woman that was running 
uh, uh, Torchwood. Torchwood. Mm -hmm. uh, when she's showing the doctor through Torchwood after leaving the TARDIS, she pushes the door open into the main building with one hand, which was a very cool shot, by the way, because the camera was standing like, yep. right behind the door, and she mm -hmm. goes, you see her hand going right into it, and then the door opens. Right. Uh, when the camera Tracking cuts to shot, them right? entering the door, she's pushing it open with two hands. Oh. So you just see the one hand coming at it, but then she's... And then after that, it's, yeah. it's two hands. Okay, all right. It's called a tracking shot, right? When yeah. Far above yeah. The okay. Uh, I'm learning things, see. guys. Another goof involving Yvonne. It sounds like she just screws things up all over the God, place. God, I hate her. Uh, what when a bitch. Yvonne is taking the Doctor and Jackie to the Sphere Room, uh, which I watched Sphere recently, by the way. Oh, no. It's as a discussion for another show. Okay. But right. it was not good. I can, I can understand that. Uh, when the doctor, when the doctor and Jackie get to the sphere room, there's a sign opposite the door that has the words Torchwood Institute. When Rose is going into the sphere chamber, beneath the sign are directions to reception, canteen, and the lever room as well. The whole sign disappears when you see the corridor from inside the chamber. So oh, someone just wow. kind of forgot to they forgot put to go ahead and put it back yep. up. It's funny thing about that uh, one Torchwood, and I know it probably did say it or mm -hmm. didn't say it. Torchwood is an anagram for Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. That's one thing where it's like, oh my gosh, that is true. And then second, she refers to, wow, that was a whistle. She refers, there it goes again. She, damn, I tried to get it for three. <laughs> I was like, three beat, hat trick. Didn't happen. Um, refers to uh, Torchwood as a company. Um, and it's not supposed to be a company. It's supposed to be like kind of like a governmental well, clandestine kind of. Well, it's supposed to be, yeah, it's clandestine, blah, blah, blah. But she keeps referring to it as a company. And I feel that whole thing about being so braggadocious with it, that's what uh, led to its downfall and led to Unit actually taking its place. Maybe, maybe. That's but what I but, feel. but I also I, I also kind of think but, but like like the reference to company could also be like, oh, well, he's a company man. <sighs> oh, true. Like, okay. Because, yeah. I, I mean, you know. Excuse me. Well, she I, says no. She's you, like, you were, you were it's the most. She says it's the most successful company to blah blah blah. Oh no, I refer to it as a modern company. We are a modern company. And I was like, why does she yeah. keep saying that? And it was like, okay, I get that kind of foreshadows later why Torchwood kind of dismantles, becomes this very small group of mm -hmm. people um, that's barely. I mean, that's barely right funded. after right after this. Exactly, they're barely funded and anything like that, and they're falling apart, and a unit rises. Because the unit sees themselves as a but yeah, yeah, kind but, of hey, but yeah, unit has been has been around since the the original series yeah too, right? but now they've actually stepped back up yeah. and said we're going to take place where Torchwood thought they were going to do because Torchwood saw themselves as just a company you know yeah, because like I remember like like later stuff. later on there were like uh, there were episodes where where Torch where like with Torchwood they viewed the Doctor as the enemy but unit like treated him as like their grandmaster general yeah right and it's like, uh, like he, he, wasn't he like president of earth or something yeah right and all because unit was like well no he's just you know blah blah and Torchwood but then again back in Tooth and, Na Tooth and Claw it kind of said that they were there to make sure that the Doctor wouldn't show back up right blah, right blah, so but I mean but that, that's also I think kind of sort of a reference to how like real world um, in intelligence agencies work because mm -hmm, they, they don't mm -hmm. necessarily know what the other one is doing cause yeah because they, they, they don't share information that's true it's I like mean they FBI share some they share some information but, but it's, like, it's like FBI versus CIA yeah You're just like, but Wait, like, I, I, like I, I always remember hearing stories about how like certain things uh, wouldn't have happened if the FBI had shared their information with the CIA or if the CIA, CIA shared, shared their with information the... with the FBI because they were either both working on the same thing or they were working on different parts of the same thing but they didn't know that the other one was oh. doing whatever so it I'm sure, I'm sure it works the same way in England with, like, MI5 and, and all the other stuff. Well, MI5 and MI6. Yeah. Right? It's, it's, <laughs> no, uh, okay, I, I don't know. Maybe. I, just, I don't know. And then Fallout. MI5. Yeah, exactly. Right. I was like, MI5, MI6? No? Rogue Nation. Rogue Nation, right? There's so many things in Europe. Uh, anyway, go back and to the, 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 the... And the IMF. IMF, yes, IMF. right? Come on, guys. <laughs> Ethan Hunt has to do work. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back to this. Back to... Oh my God! Yeah, that's true. What? How did they work with? Oh, okay, I'll talk uh, about right, that right, later. Right. Uh, where is it? Uh, back to trivia. Uh, yes. When Rose emerges from the TARDIS after Torchwood moves it, the Egyptian sarcophagus that's parked next to is from the original series adventure Pyramids of Mars. Which no was way! Series slash season thirteen. Uh, it Dude, served, it served as the Osirian time space tunnel conduit. Wow, that's old. Yeah, it's like old, old, old. Someone puts that there um, as a knot. So now I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, see if you can find a picture of that, because uh, I'm kind of curious how how it looks like if it if it looks like it's that old or right. if it looks like they maybe um, re refurbished. 
refurbished oh, it. Oh, I wonder if they did. Or if they were like, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't touch it. It's so old. Yeah, yeah. Should we have it? Let's just put it there. It's, you know, it's the government spent money on this. We can't throw it away. Right. So they have to keep it there. That's really, that's how it is. BBC is <laughs> oh, the yeah. government. So, all right, let's just uh, put this here. Look, ah, it's getting used. <laughs> Look, your taxes or whatever. They're at work. Uh, so what else they we've pay. got? Uh, the footage of Canary Wharf. Uh, used when Jackie looks out of the window is taken from the Series 2 opening episode The Apprentice UK. What? That's interesting. What? Wow. See, the BBC can do whatever it wants. I mean, well, yeah, because they, they own a portion of yep, all the shows. So that's they're right. Like, hey, that's right. we're going to license this to ourselves. Hey, guess what we just did? More work for us. Giving us I, money back. I will tell you, having worked in... Uh, having to work with like clearances for TV shows, uh-huh. that's a pain in the ass when you have like, especially when you have to like get things from yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That, like I, I've, I've dealt with like reusing footage from like season one of a show in season thirteen because it was and like, you, like either and you have like to a, get it. No, there it is. I, I mean, that, that's still lo- that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So either a we have to I wonder think. how they stored it. So that it stayed looking that good, or, 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 the, or whether they, 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 they re, redid it. Yeah, but I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, it's interesting. It's the old stuff. I wouldn't Wait, be shocked. It, was, that, stuff. was that was uh, that producer? Was that a behind the scenes shot? No, that's just uh, pull, 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 pull back up again. So yeah, there, there was something I saw that was interesting too on the the right, the right of the. So there's just those people that they uh, over. Oh, yeah, the unit men, oh, unit people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, but this that this guy dude, is the, the dude, not lo- like lo- unit. <laughs> yeah, look, look, looking at the picture, the dude to the right of the sarcophagus, next to the uh, what, whatever that is. The that's stack underneath. or something. I don't know. Well, it's not a stack. Well, oh, he's standing cables. on a stack, but there there's like a, a ship or something that's underneath a, a blanket that's that's yeah, falling off. Yeah. Uh, but that guy that's standing there, mm-hmm. he looks like he's just like randomly having a conversation with some dude that's he just does standing, because like, no, but he looks like he's wearing like like a jacket with a shirt underneath with a collar, while you see people to the left that. Yeah, actually cause dressed I, cause I saw in them. like those I actual them, and then, uniforms, and, and then I, like, I, I caught a glimpse of that. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I wonder. If, if I, w- I wonder if that's just like a random like PA or like a producer like, or, or someone that just kind of like, got caught this, on camera. Watch this, someone be on Doctor Who this week, man. Watch this shit out. I mean, he might like, not even. They're know. like action. Hey, yeah. So blah blah and coffee, and they just got him. That could be that's, it. That's it. that's interesting. Could be it. I don't know. You know what I did love about this episode though, and I gotta say it, Martha Jones. Um, when when Martha got uh, her her Bluetooth the double Bluetooth headsets, like when I saw them immediately, I was like, Cyberman. Yep. We just dealt yep. with them. So when I see those two and the way she's acting very robotic, I was like, okay, Cybermen. Yes, that's what was on this episode. I remember Cybermen. So then when that fear opens up well, I mean, and I, the Daleks yeah. come out, I was like, wait, wait. Well, I mean, as wait. soon as uh, as soon as she got pulled into that that room that was under construction, it was like with the plastic and she screams. I'm like. That's probably something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I'm going to go snog, blah, 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 and the yeah. Cybermen were there. But, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, here's 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 my question. Because uh, I don't I don't remember. It's been a while since I've watched Torchwood 2. Yeah. Um, the dude whose girlfriend had been turned into a Cyberman. Was that, oh. was, that, what, was that Gareth or was that someone else? It was Gareth. It was Gareth. It was Gareth. So, the new girl in Torchwood... Uh, that was like the the half Cyberman that was that Gareth was keeping in the basement. In the basement. That right. was supposed to be Martha Jones. Oh shoot! Because no, well, not, no, well, not Martha no, Jones because her, her name her no, name her name in this episode is Adi, 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 Adiola or something like something that. Something like that. But no, um, no, that couldn't have been right. Or but that, but was that, it supposed that, to be was, was that supposed to be the same character? I think so. Then what? That's a, I don't because know. Because Gareth was the one that was dating. The the, the half Cyberman. Not, not Martha whatever. Jones. Yeah, yeah, not Martha Jones. So then, yeah, I think that would make sense, right? Because yeah. the doctor, um, like everyone else, they pulled out the Bluetooth and that whole string right, but of, she, she had like a the bit, spinal she had, cord thing. They weren't able to take hers out. Remember, they were kind of moving it around, fiddling with it. But they, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were all dead, though. See, Cause, that's cause the thing. Because remember, he put, he put the sonic screwdriver up, up to her. Her, and her. then her boyfriend dude passed but, out. And then all, all of them passed out. Yeah. and But she hadn't been converted into, a, into, into an right. actual Cyberman. Into a Cyberman, yeah. So maybe that wasn't Gareth. That was in Torchwood. Huh. Maybe not. I don't I'm got. I'm got. Wait, watch. no, because she said her boyfriend, her boyfriend was the other dude that got, like, when when he uh, um, hit her with the sonic screwdriver, when she was like, ah, it, when it went to the oh, next right, clip right, of that right. guy, that, that was supposed to be her boyfriend, so that wasn't, yeah. that wasn't Gareth then. So, okay. 
So then, I'm, I'm, yes, re- yes, I'm, I'm sorry. And he was like, no, no, I disagree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to rewatch the, the, the premiere of Torchwood. I am. I'm going to have to. Uh, I just because, I mean, after 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 this episode is obviously season finale. And after, yes. after this season finale, we move, we, you know, we move into series three. Exactly. Uh, and then Torchwood started up, I think, halfway through that season. Yes. So then we'll look into that because Torchwood shows up as a mid-season kind of thing. Right. Because, because, hiatus, because Jack, Torchwood shows up. Because Jack shows back up at the end of... Because uh, Martha Jones was only uh, 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 one season, right? Yes. And it she only w- showed up for right. Uh, she she was only paying for that one season. At the uh-huh. end of that season, that was the one where the master comes in and held the doctor captive and made him really old. Yeah, and everybody. So comes back. yeah, so so that yeah. so that was Jack. Jack had also come back because yep. because he had the hand, uh, the doctor's hand from when it from got chopped off from, yep. the, from the Christmas episode. Uh, so there's a lot of things that Torchwood plays into for next season. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, and they knew it too. They yeah. Knew they were well, yeah, to yeah. They, they, they knew all that was happening. So, so yeah. Uh, ultimately, so what was your favorite moment concerning this episode, or uh, maybe a moment that wasn't a favorite that you were like, I could have lived without? Uh, uh, favorite moment would be at the very beginning when Rose says this is the story of how I died. Yeah. See, uh, what, that's that's what all of us keep saying. Once again, keeping <laughs> making sure Elle is proud. Uh, we all were very happy when she said this is the moment I died. Uh, it's it's just, probably the moment where, actually, she said, this is the moment I died. Elle's watching it, and she'll tell us, this is the moment I cried. <laughs> cried I, I was joy. just very disappointed <laughs> at the end of the next episode when we found out that she wasn't really Yeah, alive. she was lying us the whole time. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, she died, but she didn't die. <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah. And what about a moment that you saw, and you were like, yeah, I can live it up. Um, half the stuff with the Jackie? I'll go for that. I'll go for that. That makes sense. Uh, Half Simple uh, Jackie was kind of like it was a waste. I, I mean, I, 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 a scene that I actually really, really did like was when uh, they found out that uh, when they found Rose and uh, he confessed that, that Jackie wasn't actually Rose. And he say, he says he says to Yvonne, he's like, listen, when you guys are writing like down the stories and everything, uh, can you make sure to leave this part out? Cause I, yeah, I, I, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want people to to think that I was that I was roaming around the galaxy with Rose and her mom. And her mom, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then she I, just like gives him the side eye. Yeah, he's like, he's yeah she's pretty like, much hey. saying, what he's saying is, look, look, I'm an f boy, but I'm not just an <laughs> f boy. You know, come on now. All right, calm down on that one. So you know, I get it. It makes sense. But of course, once again, here goes Jackie being offended. Yeah. Because nobody wants her. And, sure. and, and she and she does She didn't understand that it was jokes. Yeah, uh, well, like, were they? Because, yeah, were they? Well, mm, I mean, mm. I mean, her husband hated her so much he went ahead and so got himself killed so jokes. he wouldn't have to be with her. Yeah, okay, true. Jokes, jokes. He committed suicide. <laughs> no, right? Oh no, he got hit by the car. I mean, that was Rose's mm. fault. Yeah, sure it was. I think in reality he was just like, I can't wait to get away from her, and he just walked right in the street. Both adult he Rose saw that and car Ken coming, Rose. and he was like. Now's my chance. And he ran out the street and Don't bow, know. and that was it. He was like, "Speaking about cars, ran a completely random story. We'll wrap up right after okay. this." Uh, I I was getting groceries Friday Friday night. Okay. On my way home from work, uh-huh. I'm le- I'm leaving Ralph's, and I'm walking through the parking lot, and I see, um, what looks like someone digging around in my car. Uh, so you know, I'm, I'm pushing my car up to it. I'm like, "All right, there's my car." I'm like, "Wait, why is my door open?" And I see. I oh, see, I didn't know how this was gonna work. I already know. So like now, I'm I'm ready to fight. Right, like, right, like, right. I'm like, oh, I caught this motherfucker this oh, time. I know, I know so how I'm, this so I'm like, I'm like starting to run with the car because I'm gonna like, like. Yeah, yeah, boom, and then yeah. Like, yeah. As I get closer to the car, I realize it wasn't mine. I knew it. I knew it. And I wanted to hear if you still went through with it. Like, blood's running. It's too late. Bow. And the I, old lady's I, uh, like, ah, oh, my leg. And he's like, I did gotcha, that, granny. The, 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 the kid thing where you jump on jump on the car and just like, I was like, oh, my God, like, really? No. Uh, you have no clue. I have no idea how close <laughs> you came to getting nunchucked. Like, I said, it was just, bro, bro, some, it was just oh, some dude I'm minding his own business outside of his car. That almost got wrecked <laughs> because I because wow exact, exact same car exact same model you know it, it was it was a gray Scion TC with the spoiler on it oh no uh, oh no parked in the same spot one row over I had the wrong row 
Oh my god, I had the wrong row, one row over. That was it. You came this close. This, 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 this close, close to getting arrested. Well, guys, we are this close to ending the season of Doctor Who, and this episode is getting us oh so much closer. Wow, Josh. Josh no. almost killed a man, guys. Just letting you guys know that. Always remember Just, that. Always remember to hit the notification <laughs> so you'll know what's happening on this episode. Uh, and, the producer wants to ask a question. Yes. Oh, L.A. Comic Con. We have our schedule for the panels that's that we right, will be having. That's right. That's um, right. And do we have them up? Can we, like, we, we, can, we can pull an image up oh, here. So, oh, there is. just an FYI, uh, yes. the first panel on Saturday is currently in flux. So we're not sure which Ranger guests we're going to have for it yet. Okay. So, we're All still right. waiting to figure that out. Uh, but we will let everyone know as soon as we know what, what the deal with that is. All right. Uh, so, that if that happens, when that happens, we'll be at 1130 a.m., in room 409AB nice. at LA Comic Con. And then at 2 p.m., we're going to have the Sci-Fi, I'm sorry, the Sci-Factor, that's this man right here, uh, with the Sci-Fi franchises that need to be brought back. I am so excited for this panel. <laughs> now, this is a great panel because I'm looking at the panelists themselves. You have Amy Seals, who's from... Um, uh, she was Candy in Twin Peaks. That's and right. And she was, I can't remember the name of the character, but she was one of the voices in Final Fantasy XV as well. And then we have David Blue. Uh, who was on Stargate <laughs> Universe. Uh, he was also in Moon light and he's been in a number of other other shows uh, he was one, uh, the voice of one of the characters in sunset overdrive yeah my buddy earl balon earl balon he was jonah in the tomb newer raider. tomb raider that's right. games that's right and then also of course we have you who's yeah. actually going to be on the panel i will yes you guys recognize so I, Josh I, I, from this show i was, I was thinking, <laughs> you know i was thinking about moderating this panel myself but then uh, Justin has a podcast that's all about reboots yeah, and, exactly. and mo- movie, movies and TV shows that have been rebooted. So I was like, wait, Justin is the perfect person to actually moderate this panel because he already does this. This is so perfect. I pulled, so I pulled him into that. And then also, Just, Justin will be moderating the Marvel Phase 4 101 panel on Sunday, Sunday. at 1230, that's which right. will be featuring Johnny Parker, uh, Joe, and Tatiana. That's great. It's going to be nothing but Illuminati hashtags going to be taking over this place. Uh, so there, that's what you'll be there, seeing. There are two other uh, panels that uh, we are we are doing. Uh, there is an esports panel. Do we know what day that, that one is? Uh, that's on Saturday Ooh, what time? at 11.30. Do we have any names that we can announce for that? Uh, if, you, if you check out our website, I'm sure we'll have the announcement on there or on, uh, on our... Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, and then there is also a wrestling panel uh, on Saturday at 6 p.m. Do it. Uh, can I announce any of those people? Uh, Johnny and Johnny and Neeson, uh, who you've seen on the wrestling show on Facebook. Look, 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 wrestling, I don't, I don't care what people show. say. It's it's the best wrestling show anywhere you can find. Literally, dude, those guys are me, blowing up. The show the show is good. Yeah. the show is good. Once again, when you get people that know what they're talking about, they are able to talk about it with just a surety that works well, and you get to be informed, and that's a great thing about it. <laughs> It's and it's a great show. The truthiness. Show. The truthiness. The truthiness about right? this. The truthiness about this and the assurity <laughs> of such a great show. No, is that we need to wrap up. Yeah, anyway, the truthiness so here is that we need to wrap up. The truthiness about it. I'm going to say this with assurity about the truthiness of this and say, go ahead and hit that notification, hit that bell, so you'll be able to be, keep up to date with everything that's trending in geek pop culture. Culture? Sorry, I, I wanted some suspense there. Oh, okay, good, good. I thought you were like well, Nisa and you were like, what's, what's the word? Oh, the surety.